guys. Look what we have here. We've decided to get ourselves new pets. Little ants this time. Ants are incredible creatures. It's so interesting to watch them. We've purchased a whole house for them, an ant farm. But we need to assemble it first. Are we going to be antsologists? No, Sam. Ants are studied by myrmecologists. And we'll just be keeping the ants at home. Let's see what's inside. Here are all the parts. I think I need to remove this protective layer. <laughs> cool! Give a thumbs up if you like removing protective layers from devices. Right, like this, till the last strip. All the parts are clean! And here, we have pads for our ants. We need to assemble them in a certain order. Here's their running ground. Next, we'll need this blue sponge. Let's soak it in warm water. Squeeze the water out. And place it into this cavity. The sponge will create humidity, without which the ants will die. Let's pull the sponge through this opening. Now, we'll take these five plastic frames and put them together neatly and secure them with screws. And another one. Now, let's insert the screws into the openings, like this. We need to insert screws into each empty opening. And now, let's connect a sidewall. This will be the entrance for the ants. Now we'll screw everything in place, but not too tight or the plastic will crack. Done! Let's set this aside. We'll take the base and attach transparent walls to it. And the right wall. Let's take the third wall and attach it carefully. And now comes an exciting moment. We're connecting the rooms to the house. I feel like an ant builder. To make the walls hold, we'll fix them with rubber bands. Oh, I love this. It's so relaxing, guys. And on the other side. We're done with the walls. Now let's secure the bottom. The walls are secure, so now it's time for the roof. Ta-da! The roof shouldn't have any holes. To fix that, we'll use these two parts that will make the cover. And this net. These? Again? No, Sammy. This won't let the ants escape. Phew. I've inserted the net between two parts. Now let's secure them with the screws. And on the other side. Let's cover our roof. And plug the back door to make sure the ants stay inside. We'll have the front door on the other side where our friends will enter the house. Here, we have a tube that we need to fill with water. And here's a sponge plug. Let's insert it into a special opening. The moisture will gradually fill all the rooms of the formicarium. The house is moisturized! Now we only need to add these steps at the entrance. A kind of a porch! Dinner is served! Awesome, Sammy! Let the ants in! Here are our residents. Let's take the cotton ball out. Here, we have a special tunnel, which we'll insert quickly and insert the other end into the house. Yay! The first resident! <laughs> Here comes the second one! We really hope our ants will be comfortable in this house. Our ants are called Cataglyphus enosins, runner ants, which live mostly in grasslands but also in semi-deserts and deserts. 
Actually, there are so many ants on Earth that currently there are one million ants per human being. The common worker ant lives from 90 days to three years, and the ant queen can reign for up to 30 years. Look! Look! It's lifting something. Ants can carry weights 5,000 times heavier than their own weight. Can you imagine that? Our ants are called runners because they are incredibly fast. They run faster than any other species of ant because they can lift their abdomen in a special way. Ants don't have ears. How can they hear? Ants hear with their knees and feet. They sense vibrations from their surroundings. They're always in a hurry. No wonder ants are a symbol of hard work. Get inspired while looking at them, Sammy. The ants are doing great. Look at them go. But we decided that one farm isn't enough. And we're going to make an amazing big house for our new ant colony! It'll be sea-themed. Yes, they're going to live almost like on a seashore. I really hope they like it. Of course they will. Even I already like it, even though I haven't seen it yet. Show me! Of course, Sammy. Not only show, but tell as well. This ant farm kit has the main box or the arena. The ants can go for a walk here, and that's where we'll place the decor. We have wonderful decorations. The sand, colorful pebbles, and even a turtle. We'll decorate the house so well! There's also pathways. Special vials. Huh, not sure what for, but I think for water. What are these plastic thingies for? Those are plugs. We'll install them to let the ants know where they can go and where they can't. There are plugs with openings. They are doors. And there are solid plugs. They are walls. Clever! There's also some food. A uh, cleaning brush. And a magnifying glass. Oh, to see the ants better! Yep. Let's assemble the ant farm! Our ants can't wait to move into their new home! Let's go! First, we need to connect the arena and the pathways. The pathways are divided into two sections. One section will be closed for now. The ant colony needs to grow first. Part of each section needs to be moisturized. Look, there's special plaster covering to give the ants necessary humidity. Oh, fine. I think you've already explained why ants need wet chambers, but I forgot. I'll explain again. Ants need wet chambers for their babies to grow during the early stages. When they grow up a bit, they are taken to the dry chambers. That's why it's very important to keep the formicarium humid enough. What are they gonna do here? Stroll around and have fun? Huh, well, almost. We can leave drinking water and food in the arena, and they'll take out their rubbish there. Then they need the necessary cleaning equipment! No, Sammy, they'll deal with the rubbish themselves. We'll only need to remove it from time to time. Oh, all right. So let's set the plugs in places. First, we'll insert the solid plugs. By the way, if we want to enlarge our colony, we can connect additional pathways here. Oh, I want a really large colony! I'll be the first lime ant farmer! <laughs> Why not? All plugs are in their places. Connect the pathways to the arena carefully. We'll need this tube to do it. It'll be a crossway. Let's insert it into the opening in the arena and connect it to the pathways. Like this. And done! Shall we invite the ants now? No, Sammy. First we need to moisturize the chambers, remember? Yes, I do, but but but… Fine, fine, let's see. Like I said, there are two places for moisturizing. Here and here. When the colony is small, moisturizing one section is enough. We can add some water from a special dropper. Or set an automatic moisturizer. I'm all for automatic moisturizing. <laughs> all right. Then let's fill this vial with water. It's important to use only the purest water. Now I'll plug the vial with a special sponge. Turn it over and place it onto its place. Now the formicarium will be moisturized automatically. Oh, just like in the first formicarium! That's right! Look, the plaster's turning gray. You did everything right! Aha! So the second vial is for the second moisturizer. And the third one? It's a drinking bowl. Let's assemble a stand for it. We'll insert these pieces here and place the vial with water and a sponge here. Now let's place it into the arena. Now what? Decorating? Oh no, Sammy. We can start decorating only after the ants settle in. Come, let's invite them into their new apartment! Yay! Right. 
Let's cover the pathways to make them dark and cozy for the ants. I'll give them some seeds to snack on. Make sure the food doesn't block the entrance to the pathways. And now we can let the ants out! Cotton pad away! And now? And now we wait, Sammy. It can take some time. All right, I'm ready to watch! The ants are actively exploring their new home. They seem to be interested in water. Sure, water is very important. <gasps> He's drinking water! Good for him. Looks like they started stashing food. Oh, then they liked the food. No wonder. They have a selection of three meals. They're so clever. They know exactly what to do. Come on, come on, you can do it. I know. Ants are very strong. Yay, they've discovered the entrance to the pathways. Oh, yes, they're exploring them. <gasps> Wonderful. Susie, are these the same ants as the first ant farm? No, Sammy. We have runner ants there, and these are harvester ants. Mess or struck doors. Harvesters. They harvest grains? They like seeds very much. They use their mandibles to grind seeds into flour to feed baby ants. Wow! They are walking mills. <laughs> Something like that. Right. All the ants are in the formicarium. We can remove this. And that as well. Can now we decorate? Yes, Sammy. We can start. It's important to keep in mind that all decor elements should be clean. Huh, so a stone from the street won't do? What? No, Sammy, it certainly won't. It's better not to give the ants any items from the street, including food. So we're going to have some sand. And colored pebbles will imitate the sea. Beautiful. I wouldn't mind living here myself. Well, you have to become tiny for that. Oh, no. I like my size. All right, then bring me some artificial plants. A moment. And I'll place these pretty stones here. Plant delivery! <laughs> Thanks! Let's place them here. And let's offer a pretty friend for our ants. Oh, awesome! Great! I hope the ants like it too. Listen, Susie, do the ants have enough air? Oh, sure, Sammy. Actually, ants don't have lungs, like many other animals. They have their own breathing system. And they also have two stomachs. They process food in one for themselves, and they keep food to share with the other ants in the second stomach. Oh, that's some friendship. <laughs> well, it's efficient for them. And I love watching them move their antennae, as if they're sniffing out something. Well, that's actually what they do. They feel the world around them that way. Susie, what size will this colony be? I don't know, Sammy. Harvester ants can create colonies from 500 to 50,000 specimens, so we can only watch and wait. Wow, ants are amazing creatures! I'm glad we started one more colony! We can compare the behavior of the two species now! Guys! If you liked our new colony, give a thumbs up! And if we get this video to 10,000 thumbs up, we'll shoot another video about our ants! Subscribe to the channel to see even more interesting and educational videos about animals and things around us. Bye-bye! Ah, oh, I had such a good sleep. Even Sam is still asleep. Oh! What's that? Interesting. It looks like a piece of wool. Oh! Who's this little guy here? Who sneaked into our house? It's a little spider! You are so cute! Stay with us, little one. Sammy, wake up! We've got a new pet! I'll be right there, Sue! What's up? Look, Sammy! We have a new friend! Wow, Susie! Is it a spider? It looks scary! Sammy, you can't judge someone by their looks. First, you have to find out what kind of personality you're dealing with before you can draw any conclusions. You're right, Susan. I guess, but where is he gonna live? Right, we need to buy a terrarium for him. But for now, we should arrange something here to make sure our little spider doesn't get lost. Where was it? Where? Oh, right! Here's what we need. Also, I thought I had some left in here. Yes, right, this will do. We'll put this here. Our little spider will sit right here for a little bit. 
Hey, little one. Now we aren't going in the tub. That's where we should stay. Okay, let's pour some soil into a container. Here we go. Careful, little spider. Come over here. Come on over, little one. Yeah, good job. Good. See, this will be your shelter for the time being, okay? There, Sammy, our little spider will be staying here. Guys, most importantly, don't forget that you must have holes in your container so that the spider can breathe. So, I've only seen those in the encyclopedia before. How did he get here? I think he crawled in from outside. It's weird that so many people are afraid of spiders. I mean, they're totally harmless. Guys, give a thumbs up if you too aren't afraid of little spiders. So, but our little spider shouldn't live in such conditions, right? Yeah, sure, Sammy. You stay with him and I'll go order a terrarium, okay? Well, we'll sit here. <laughs> Good little spider. Holy cannoli, guys! Something's happening in there! So What? What's the panic about? There! There! The spider! Is he an alien? No, Sammy. It's just that our spider is shedding. That's all. I've never seen this process before like that. I mean, live. It's so cool! Why is he doing it? He doesn't like his old skin? Sammy, our little spider grows this way. It's not even his skin. It's something like a skeleton. Our spider's growing and changing. Such a wonderful creature. Be sure not to get in his way now. Let him get used to his new body in peace. He doesn't really need anything special right now to help him with it. And when he does get used to it, his new home will be here already. Our terrarium has arrived. It's time to put it together. Our little spider is feeling very good. And he's all ready for the big move. Guys, suggest a name for our little spider. Come on, comment away. This kind of spider is called a bird-eating spider. These spiders can be kept at home, so we kept it. You can't let the spider walk around the apartment because you might hurt him. Also, he should have his safe zone for having food and water. That's why we'll need a terrarium. Okay, guys, let's get to business. Let's see what's inside. I've never assembled terrariums for spiders before. I wonder if it's like an ant farm in any way. Nah, Sue, these are two totally different things. You think so? Okay, we'll see. Wow, it's so stylish and so reliable. Look, Sue, I think it's spoiled. There are holes in it. No, oh, Sammy, these holes are made on purpose to let air through. Oh, right. Why do I keep forgetting that, Sue? No problem, Sammy. The experts took care of it. Also, there are special securing fixtures here. Let's secure the first two walls together like this. Uh, Sue, what do you think? Will the spider have enough space in there to weave his web? Uh, I read somewhere that a spider can weave a web as long as the Earth's equator. Well, he won't need that much web in our terrarium. We just have to make sure it has enough space. Look, I'm securing the walls. Now there's more than enough space in here to weave a web. Okay, then I don't have to worry. But a spider must need something other than space, right? Sure, Sammy. Let's add all kinds of things in here. As with any other terrarium, spiders should have a soft flooring in there so that he doesn't hurt himself if he falls. Coconut substrate is a perfect kind of flooring for a terrarium. Now see what's going to happen. Just watch it soak up all the water. It's like magic. Let's add some more. It's bulging, see? Now I need to knead it like dough. Isn't it fun? And ready! We're putting it on the bottom of our spider home. Hey guys, I'd like to remind you that we asked you to help us come up with a name for our spider. Comment under this video. Tell us what name you think suits him best. Here we go! Susie, we need to make a place for him to sleep on! Yes, Sammy, look! I bought a special snag for this. Why buy it? We could have gotten one from the street, Sue. No, come on, what are you saying? It's better not to get anything from our streets for our exotic pets, because they can get sick. It's better to use special things that are only intended for them. This looks more like a home now. We only need to arrange a kitchen and a place for him to play. Well, the kitchen, we need a container for water and food. We'll put it across from the bedroom. Like this. And now a place to play! Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, I forgot to warn you that our guest likes exotic toys. Yeah, you can't be more exotic than that. Where did you get this mini pirate? The same place I got the snacks, Sammy! Oh. <laughs>
We have all the special things for our spider. It's some sort of a VIP guest we have in here. Right, Sammy. Soon we'll show this home to its owner-to-be. Our little spider needs water and food. Great, all set now. Well, hello there. Ready? Come over here, you little buddy. There you go. Take your time. Soft, isn't it? Off you go. Take a look around. Look, he's going for the shelter right away. I think he likes the snag. Make yourself comfortable, spider. That's it, little friend. You have a new home now. You forgot something here, Sue. Spiders love to be warm. We have to make sure the temperature is comfortable for him. Wow, right, Sam. Where did you get this? We'll put it here. Well, you're not the only thrifty person. <laughs> now we are definitely done. Wow, little spider. How are you liking it? I hope he'll like it and won't escape from his home. Or else we can step on him and break his leg. Sammy, spiders have no bones. No bones? But his legs look so firm. Well, spiders have a firm shell. Actually, it's still possible to hurt his legs, like if you step on him accidentally. We won't step on his legs and hurt him ever. That's why we made a terrarium, right? Yes, Sammy, among other things. It looks like he's happy. I think so, too. Hey, everyone, spider swine here. Hey, little spider. This city needs a hero. Hmm, my spider sense is tingling. I believe someone's in trouble. Oh, no! Peter, what happened? I'll see you. Sue! Peter burst into pieces! Sue! Peter? Peter, what's the matter? Oh, Sammy. You really scared me. It's perfectly fine. It's just that Peter shed a little. Hey, what's this? Why is there so much yarn in here? Oh, Sammy! Ugh, Sue, I panicked because of Peter and got tangled a bit. Help me, please! Sammy, he just shed again. I think it's time for our spider to move to a new house. Oh, yeah, moving to a new place is stressful for sure, but it's so interesting, too, and I'll be around to support Peter. You're right, Sammy, and we'll try to make this process as smooth as possible for our hairy friend. Well, let's get going! Hello again, guys! Our Peter has grown big enough, and we decided to give him a new experience and change his environment. So today, we ta -da! I'm moving to a new terrarium. How do you like this new house, guys? It's about to get much cozier. Remember how we found our little spider? Stay with us, little one. Sammy, wake up, we've got a new pet. Right, we've become good friends with him. Oh, I can't wait to move Peter. I don't think it's enough. Let's see what happens if we add more water. This is coconut substrate. We'll use it as soil for our terrarium. Doesn't look that great, does it? But Peter likes it. Look, I think he'll be more comfortable this way. Good idea! <laughs> it will probably make a great backdrop for our terrarium. Carefully now. I don't want to break our wonderful backdrop. Now we'll smooth it out. Sue, every superhero should have a secret den. Here you go. True. I'm sure Peter will like climbing up here and surveying his territory. Won't he be bored in this mansion? Huh? No, because he'll have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> have you forgotten, Sammy? Peter likes this kind of toy. Shiver me cheddars! Some preferences! Ugh. And now a place to play. <laughs> well, tastes differ. Come on now, he's pretty cute, admit it. Let's pick a name for him. Hmm, why don't we call him Roger? Guys, how do you like our jolly Roger? Give a thumbs up if you do. In the meantime, guys, we already placed a humidity sensor in our terrarium to maintain a comfortable environment for our spider. Also, to make sure Peter is never bored or glum, we prepared this surprise for him. Let's add some color to our terrarium. I got it, I got it, just a little more to go. Thank you, Sammy. No problem. It's just what we're missing in our terrarium. Actually, Peter doesn't drink that much. I read that it's perfectly normal. Peter, where are you? Sammy, have you forgotten that tarantulas are nocturnal? Oh, I'm sorry. 
Our little Peter sleeps a lot during the day and he only wakes up at night time, so he hides right here the rest of the time. So to make sure our little guy is comfortable under the snag, we got him this heating mat. Let's stick it right under the snag. There. Now let's turn on our device to keep him warm. Wow, so just don't fry our little spider. By the way, I think it's time for him to move in. You're right, Sammy. But before I bring Peter, I have to put on these special protective gloves. Our spider Peter has been living in that terrarium for a while, and any kind of move will be stressful for him. He can shed protective hair, so we should protect our hands. Hey there, buddy. Sorry to disturb you. Here's your new home. Get down there. Take your time. Look at you. So handsome. Guys, be careful. Better ask an adult to help you with the spider. Yeah, like it, Peter. He tried so hard for you. Don't worry, Peter. Your friendly neighborhood spider slime will protect your daytime slumber. And it looks like Peter's happy. Let's leave him in his new home. And we're saying goodbye to you guys. If you like this video, you know what to do.